we will talk about fasciculations fasciculations is small muscle twitching which is visible in many cases most common form of fasciculation is eyelid twitching it's most common cause and usually it's harmless fasciculation most commonly affects eye hands legs and any muscles literally any muscles can be affected by fasciculation including tongue also what is the idea of fasciculation it's hyper excitability of neurons motor neurons and this signal is converted to muscles and muscles involuntary contracted that's the idea involuntary contraction of muscles which is visible in many cases is fasciculation what is the most common cause of fasciculation most common cause is exercise and fatigue why it happens because when muscle is fatigued electrolyte disbalance occurs and electrolytes are very important for uh, motor neuronal excitability and muscle contraction and when we have muscle fatigue and electrolyte imbalance there is high chance that muscle will contract involuntarily because these um, electrolytes such as potas potassium sodium magnesium they are crucial for muscle contraction and crucial for signal transmission from um, uh, from uh, motor neuron uh, to muscle that's why electrolyte disbalance is very important and you can remember tennis players who eating bananas even during matches why it happens because banana is rich in potassium and potassium is crucial for preventing muscle twitching and muscle cramps of course it has another uh, role it's, uh, it, it contains calories and it's energy and easily digestible so banana has lots of positive sides uh, but also it's important because it prevents muscle fasciculations and muscle cramps when uh, these tennis players have intense physical activity another most common cause of fasciculation is stress during stress hormonal disbalance occurs and this hormones changes also electrolyte content and changes also neural excitability and uh, neuronal hyper excitability is very common during stress and fasciculation is common also caffeine and alcohol affects it's another common cause caffeine because it's stimulant and it stimulates neurons and alcohol can directly damage neurons and when something damages nerves or just irritates nerves it causes fasciculations so any processes which can physically affect nerves it can be medications it can be trauma it can be exercise it can be fatigue stress alcohol they can cause uh, fasciculations so uh, fasciculations in most common cases it's very benign and not problem behind it but sometimes it's chronic chronic fasciculations uh, occurs much less uh, common uh, cases compared to uh, acute fasciculations but when it occurs in 70% of cases it's because of benign fasciculation syndrome benign fasciculation syndrome is when fasciculations occurs um, in muscles regularly uh, sometimes for years but we have no other important symptoms we have no muscle weakness we have no muscle atrophy electromyography is normal so when we have no muscle weakness when we have no atrophy and we have fasciculations usually it's benign fasciculation syndrome uh, i mean if this fasciculation is chronic or regular uh, 
if fasciculation person have fasciculations for three days, it's not uh, benign fasciculation syndrome. It's acute fasciculation. But if fasciculation have regular manner and occurs for several months, several years, it's benign fasciculation syndrome in many cases. But uh, we should know that fasciculation is important characteristic of amyotropic lateral sclerosis and amyotropic lateral sclerosis is very serious disease very serious and dangerous disease and characteristic is fasciculations that's why we should be careful we should be careful but it occurs around one percent of fasciculation cases so it's not common it's not uh, it's rare uh, so we we should not be afraid too much because it's very rare but we should be careful uh, and at these cases we have muscle weakness also muscle atrophy also and muscle weakness is important because it's neurodegenerative disease and progressive disease and condition worse over time but muscle twitching or muscle fasciculation is characteristic for amyotropic lateral sclerosis also multiple sclerosis which is autoimmune disease of central nervous system and myasthenia gravis which is also autoimmune disease of muscles uh, it causes also muscle weakness and atrophy and uh, in case of multiple sclerosis sometimes we have twitching but it's not very characteristic for muscle uh, for multiple sclerosis but for amyotropic lateral sclerosis fasciculation is characteristic for myasthenia gravis it's sometimes sometimes it happens sometimes happens muscle fasciculation but it's not very characteristic in case of multiple sclerosis it's not very characteristic in case of amyotropic lateral sclerosis it's very characteristic so we should know very serious condition amyotropic lateral sclerosis when we have muscle um, fasciculations but we should know also that if we have no muscle weakness we have no atrophy we have no chronic nature we have no progression it's not amyotropic lateral sclerosis usually it's benign fasciculation syndrome and the treatment of benign fasciculation syndrome uh, does not exist but condition can be improved um, by several environmental factors such as reduction in caffeine reduction in alcohol and improving sleep sleep quality that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now